Hey guys, it's Sean with Loop Follow. I just want to show you the top five features of Loop Follow really quick because a lot of people ask me, well, how does it compare to SugarMate or Spike and Follow Mode or Extra Plus or Night Scout, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So here's my top five features. Number one, you can read directly from Dexcom, directly from Night Scout, or from both. So you don't have to set up Night Scout. You can just plug in Dexcom and it will pull your BG directly from Dexcom. If you have Night Scout set up, you can get more advanced options. Number two, and I'm going to show a couple other displays here. These are screenshots from my Apple Watch. Um, we have two ways to display data on Apple Watch. Um, the one on the right is similar if you've used SugarMate or Spike to how they do it, it writes to the calendar. We do have a lot more options though, rather than just the BG, the trend arrow and the Delta, we also have loop status, override status, carbs on board, insulin on board, uh, and bit current basal rate. So there are a lot more options and you can customize the order and what shows up in line one and line two. On the left, we actually have a bit of a hack method to utilize the photo watch face to display a current graph from Loop Follow app as your watch face. So this can update every five minutes um, to show the graph right on your watch. All right, those are the top two. Number three, four, and five all relate to alarms. So the first one is Loop Follow has more alerts and than any other app out there that I've used. I kind of got sick of using certain alerts from one app and certain alerts from another app and they all had different options. So some of the cool ones, you'll see the standard ones there. We have fast drop and fast rise. We have a really cool temporary alert. Um, you can turn it on for just one time and say whenever BG's uh, under 100, trigger this alert. That's great for exercise when you might want a higher alert than your traditional low. For loopers and night scout users, we've got a whole slew of additional alerts from not looping, miss bolus, sensor and cannula change dates, overrides pump, uh, pump reservoir volume, and then also alerts for IOB and COB. All right, the next one is guaranteed alert sounds. So no matter what your do not disturb setting is on, no matter what your hardware vibrate switch is set to, no matter what your volume level is set to, the alert's going to sound. We can override all of those. So even if you're in do not disturb with your vibrate switch on and your volume all the way to zero, we can trigger an alert at a guaranteed volume level. Number five is the customizations of the alerts. Most of the alerts have crazy ridiculous customizations from the ability to play specific sounds all the time, only during the day or only at night, to repeat sounds versus not repeat sounds, to have alerts that automatically snooze themselves at, during the day or during the night. So if you don't want your uh, not reading alert to go off during the day, you can set that to auto snooze then each alert has a bunch of opt options. Just one example here, the low alert allows you to use persistence. So if you want to, for instance, set your low alert to 70, well, if you're a fairly flat BG and riding between 68 and 72, you don't really need to set the alert off for that. So we can tell it as long as it's within five, so down to 65, the BG can go for 30 minutes before the low alert will trigger. Every alert has options like this, persistence for high, BG limits for fast drop. So don't trigger a fast drop alert if BG is over a certain amount. And all of those are highly configurable. So there's my top five um, to give you an idea about loop follow.